Ciguatera is one of the most common forms of food poisoning, which occurs after the consumption of fish contaminated with neurotoxins produced by certain algae that build up the food chain. Uh, just a few bites can be sufficient to induce the condition. Disturbingly affected fish look, smells, tastes normal, and ciguatoxins are resistant to all forms of cooking, so there's no uh, straightforward method to predict whether your tropical culinary dream will be followed by a ciguatera nightmare. Literally, can cause nightmares. About one in six may experience signs of hallucinatory poisoning, lack of coordination, hallucinations, depression, nightmares. Most suffer some kind of uh, neurological symptoms, tingling, numbness, and a burning cold sensation. For example, ciguatera sufferers have reported that a refreshing dive in the ocean actually caused burning pain, or that uh, drinking cool beer felt like uh, too hot coffee. Uh, so sometimes a reversal of temperature sensation occurs, like cold objects feel hot, vice versa. Uh, the toxin itself may also be apparently uh, sexually transmitted either direction after fish consumption. Or, or as one of my favorite public health bloggers put it, when hot sex turns cold and painful, blame it on dinner. And the symptoms can persist for months or even years. Ongoing research has shown that people with chronic fatigue syndrome may actually be suffering the long-term effects of this fish food poisoning, or a condition called polymyositis, which causes diffuse muscle aches, pain, inflammation. Some individuals intoxicated by fish consumption 25 years previously can experience a recurrence of the main neurological disturbances during periods of overwork, fatigue, stress, you can still find the toxins stuck in their body decades later. Recent outbreaks in New York City have drawn attention to the problem. A man eats grouper at a Manhattan restaurant, goes swimming two miles a day, uh, to all of a sudden having difficulty walking. That lasts for months. Uh, but these aren't just rare anecdotes. I mean, Ciguatera fish poisoning affects an estimated 15,000 Americans every year, causing hundreds of hospitalizations, even a few deaths. And again, the toxins are colorless, odorless, tasteless, not destroyed by cooking. Therefore, CDC scientists suggest education efforts aimed at the prevention of seafood intoxication by avoidance of high-risk fish altogether. Uh, the AMA put out a similar advisory suggesting that the only way to prevent it is to avoid eating fish like red snapper or grouper. Uh, but the problem is that a third of fish sold in the U.S. is mislabeled, uh, so you don't know what you're getting. Uh, the, some uh, suggest feeding a large fish flesh meal to a cat, treating them kind of a, like a court tester, and if they're okay six hours later, you can dig in. Uh, but this is considered inhumane. But if it's inhumane to feed it to your cat, how is it not inhumane to feed it to other members of the family?